no equipment needed. Pilates sequence. So everything is once. We've been doing these a little bit longer because we're strong. Okay. Exercise one is 100 prep. We've done this a lot. Knees at tabletop, arms overhead. Exhale, curl up, straighten the legs, arms reach. Inhale, back down. About 40 seconds, three, two, one. Here we go. When you curl up, looking at your thighs, your face is facing your thighs, not the ceiling as much as possible. Reach to the top of the head, lengthen your neck, tuck in the chin a little bit, push your abs toward the floor. Pause in that extended position if you can. Eight seconds. And rest nice and easy. Single leg stretch is next. So you're gonna be grabbing one knee, one knee's bent, the other leg is straight, you're curled up, you pulse two times, scissors and switch. That's the move. You try to keep your head and shoulders up the whole time. If you can't, you can set them down and stay down. All right, legs at tabletop, inhale to get ready. Exhale, curl up, here's your beep. Straighten one leg, pulse two, scissors and switch. Now reach through the top of your head, Still, face is facing you mostly your knees, top of the head toward the ceiling, abs pushed down toward the floor. It is six ab moves in a row. That's why it's hard, but we don't have to repeat. 10 seconds. Three two, and one. Hug the legs in, lower the head and shoulders, set the feet down one at a time. Take a few deep breaths. Double leg stretch is next. So on this one, you have legs at tabletop, you curl up and then you fly open to a V and then back closed. Let's just shave a little time off this one, it's hard. Shaved off five seconds. All right, legs up at tabletop. Inhale to get ready. Exhale, curl up. Here's your beep. Inhale, reach long. Exhale, closed. Same position on the curl up, head and shoulders every single time. Top of the head reach for the ceiling. Chin a little bit tucked, abs pushing down toward the floor. Pin your lower back. Try to relax the neck a little bit. 10 seconds. There's your beep, nice and easy out. Relax. Single straight leg. I feel like this is the nicest one of the bunch. <laughs> Let's pull on that top leg a little bit to help you. You will be curled up again, legs up toward the ceiling. Hold one, drop the other one six inches off the floor. Pulse twice, scissors and switch, adding time back on. Inhale to get ready, legs up. Exhale, curl up, drop one leg six inches, pulse two, scissors and switch. While one leg goes down, the other leg comes up. Push those abs toward the floor. Length through the neck. Paint those nice long arcs through the feet. Legs are long, almost done. Three, two, and one. Hug the legs in, set the feet down one at a time. Double straight leg. This is the one where if you need a little help, you 
set your hand, your hips right on top of your hands, legs up toward the sky, turn them outward like a plie position, and then you're going to lower both legs to the floor, zip them back up. If it's too intense, you can bend your knees a little bit and keep your legs together and try to hinge down that way. This can be hard no matter what, so you can adapt a little if you need to. Hands out makes it harder. Let's give it a whirl. Three, two, one, and go. Lower with control, exhale, zip them back up. Head and shoulders stay down on this one. Usually they're up. Another muscle that was talking to me yesterday in my workout was one of my hip flexors, like right in the crease where your thigh meets your hip. And I'm not sure if that's residual from pickleball or if I just twinged it a little in my workout. Almost done. Three two, and one. Hug those legs in, set your feet down one at a time. Crisscross bicycle abs. Last exercise in the sequence, then we do one back extension and then we're done. I was gonna say, then you go home, but you are home, so. <laughs> All right, hands folded behind your head. Legs come up to tabletop one at a time. Inhale to get ready. Exhale, crisscross, here we go. Moderate pace, focus on the twist, reaching elbow toward and even past the knee. Let the head sit heavy in the hands, you get help with this one, or the neck. Nothing's helping my abs. <sighs> True. Neck is like, thank goodness, abs are like, could you just not? <laughs> could you just not? <laughs> Aren't we done yet? Oh, almost there. Done with that. Go ahead and roll yourself over onto your stomach and push up onto your elbows. That'll give a quick stretch to the abs that you just worked hard. <sighs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, new back extension variation. We might have done it, but if we did, it was a long, long time ago. Let me show you what it looks like. So one arm is reaching forward, kind of overhead. One arm is reaching back. You lift up and then you windmill the arms. Once you get into the next position, one arm forward, back, reach those hands in opposite directions. Like somebody's trying to pull your arms longer and that gives you a little extra lift and you just wave back and forth between those two. Inhale to get ready. Exhale, lift up. Go one arm forward, one arm back, lift and reach. Windmill the arms. Once you get into the next position, extend, stretch. Move the arms, stretch, reach. Make sure the glutes are flexed. Everything off the floor, you can get off the floor. Neck, natural extension of the spine. Don't look too far down or too far forward. And you're just continuing to windmill? Yes. I windmill, I do a little extra reach when I get there and then I windmill again. Three, two, one, and relax. We are done for today. Oh, I, I like sent a, what? I like the windmill, it distracts me from the pain of just holding that position. <laughs> <laughs> I think so too. I, I actually really like that version. All right, on lying on your back, knees bent, feet flat, drop your knees to one side, hold the twist. This is just such a good, like I'm stretching and I'm also just like flopping on the floor <laughs> to recover from what we just did. Up and over to the other side. Shoulder blades are touching the mat. And bring it back to the center. Knees are bent, feet on the floor. Now raise one leg up toward the ceiling. Hold it with your hands. 
push your tail to the floor, push your heel to the ceiling. So you're gonna feel a deep stretch without having to pull your leg too much um, closer to your torso. But if you're very flexible in the hamstrings, you might need to pull your leg toward you. Try to straighten the knee a little bit, tail down, heel up. Get the back of that leg as long as you can. Toes are flexed toward the shin bone. Woo, need to stretch today. I feel like I'm still recovering from being in the car. <laughs> and now take that ankle, cross it over the opposite knee, and then hug both of those bent legs toward you. Use that knee to drive that leg toward you. The strength of that leg. And relax there. Now, other leg goes straight up toward the ceiling. Flex the ankle, push the tail to the floor, push the heel to the ceiling. What happens when you have tight hamstrings is your tailbone is peeling away from the floor. Push it down, reach through the heel. Support with your hand if you need to. Cross that ankle over the opposite knee. Bring both legs up toward you. Use that knee to push the leg toward you, your chest. Yeah, you're gonna relax out of that. I find myself spacing out, I'm tired. <laughs> Go to hands and knees. Square up and then set one leg out to the side. Inner edge of my foot is on the floor and I want you to rock forward and back. Loosen up the hip and the inner thigh groin area. Some rocking first, because this can be a little intense. And then sit back toward your heel. You can go to your elbows until you feel a good stretch on the inner thighs. And come forward, bring that knee in. Now that same leg that was out to the side, come up to your knees and take that leg and step forward. So you're in a kneeling position and now lean into that leg. Now we're stretching the quad muscle on the other, on the back leg there. Tuck your tailbone just a little bit between your legs and you're gonna feel a deeper stretch right up into that hip flexor on the other side. And come out of that nice and easy. And then we're gonna do the other side. I have to turn around because I don't have room. Hands and knees, other leg goes out to the side. It's a better view actually. Rock forward and back. And then go ahead and sit back. Sit back, go to your elbows if it feels better or deeper. I feel like on this side, it's a little different. Lopsided. All right, back to hands and knees, nice and easy. Bring that leg in, go to your knees, and then that same leg steps forward. Half kneeling position, lean into it. Now notice my front knee is not going past my toes, so I have a big step forward with that foot. That would be bad pressure. And then sink into it, tuck your tail just a little bit. That back leg's gonna get a good stretch. And come out of that. A little bit for upper body, hands and knees. You're gonna thread the needle. I'm gonna face forward. You're gonna take an arm, go under the body, set the shoulder and head down. Reach as far away as you can. 
And then that hand that's still pushing with the palm against the floor, you can push into that just a little bit and you're gonna deepen that rotation. And up and out of that. And then we have to thread the needle with the other arm. Reach under long, set the shoulder head down. So that whole arm is laying on the floor. The hand with the palm facing the ground can push gently, not much, just a little, you'll know. You always wanna press into feeling a stretch, but don't overdo it. Not trying to break any records. It takes time to get deeper in stretches. Time and consistency. Yeah, nice and easy up out of that. Go ahead and sit, legs crossed or legs straight, whatever's comfortable, hands behind you, fingertips pointed away, chest goes forward and up, squeeze shoulder blades together. Spread that open through the front. You can look up gently. And relax out of that. We're all done for today. Thank you for coming.